Agile Loaders, this is really a super fast video for beginners to get started with load testing in less than five minutes. Agile Load is really a, actually a powerful tool, really sophisticated and feature rich, so if you're already familiar with load testing, you might want to take a look at some of the more advanced videos that we're going to produce, which cover making scenarios data driven, parameterization, results analysis, reporting, cloud based testing, testing of specific technologies, and, and, and more stuff. Our aim is to constantly update these videos, so if there's something missing, please check back later. Also, you can subscribe to our uh, Twitter, our Facebook and LinkedIn channels to receive updates of new content and cool performance stuff. I'm Adam Brown and I've had over 10 years of experience in performance testing. I'm going to guide you through these videos and try to deliver some best practice advice on performance and load testing along the way. We begin with Agile Load Starter. This is going to help you as a beginner get to a point where you can run a test. The first thing we're going to do is give the scenario name. So I have a trading application on a machine that I want to test. So I'll just call this my uh, my trade test. The URL is uh, exactly this. If you want to use this same application, there's a link to it on our website. It's actually the Microsoft.NET Stock Trader. I just now need to click the record button and that launches script editor and a browser with my application in it. You can see it's already made some captures here. So I want to log in. You can see on the stock trader we have um, the, the credentials on here, some security issues I guess and I'm going to use those to log into the application UID colon zero on XXX. You can do this on yours if you have the demo app and just click on login. And what I want to do is just simulate a user making a trade. Really simple. So I'll get my quote, buy, buy 100 shares and go now to my portfolio and I can see that I've just made the order number 135. Easy, done, log out and then stop. Agile Load has spotted that this looks like uh, .NET technology so I'm just going to click on OK and go back to Agile Load Starter and move on to my next step. I'm now going to create my job which is going to run the test. I give it the name of the job, I'm going to leave that as default. The number of virtual users that I want to simulate. So this is how many users are actually going to log onto the application. And the ramp up time, which is how long do I want to spend putting those users onto the application. And the number of iterations each one of those users is going to do. I can edit this, but as we've only got 5 minutes I'm just going to click the start button and we're going to run the test. Agile Load has launched up Agile Load Test Center and is starting the job and it's now running. We'll see the number of users increase as the test runs along. This is an interactive console so I can build graphs and we're going to do that later in some of the more advanced videos. For the meantime I'm just going to fast forward while we do our 10 transactions and then we'll go on to the next step. So now the test is finished we've had 10 concurrent users all accessing the system at the same time and they've all done 10 transactions or 10 trades each. They've run the scenario that we recorded just before. Flicking back to Agile Load Starter, I'm going to move on to the next step, which is simply to generate the report. The template that's being used here is a, one of our simple reports. There are a number of templates that you can use. In this case, we're looking at the number of concurrent virtual users that were running and the bandwidth that they, uh, they were consuming. So this is saying that we had 10 virtual users running, all running the, the trade application concurrently. Uh, we have a detailed report showing the the, the, uh, the, the setup of the test. Um, the top five slowest business transactions that, and then we have a graph down here showing the trades per second that the trading application can deal with. So we can see it's one trade per second here. Um, we'd recommend probably doing a stress test to find out what the maximum number of trades per second the application can do with a larger number of users is. There are a number of different templates that we can use and they go down to into, into greater levels of detail and also these templates are, are something that you can figure yourself which is something that we're going to show in later videos and this is really important because the uh, pure output of a performance test is really based in its report that's really how your work is going to be judged as a performance tester so now you're an agile loader really we've only touched the surface of agile load here so please take a look at our other videos to really get to grips with how to get reports with high levels of detail set up environment monitoring go to root cause analysis of performance bottlenecks deal with complex apps and a lot more and if what you're looking for isn't there hey why not send us a request through the forums have a great time with agile load 
it's free for small load tests. So what are you waiting for? Go get it. Help yourselves. Bye-bye.